after the reunification of Germany, there was a promise on behalf of NATO that it would not continue to build up. What has not instead happened? Not one inch happened? further east is what Jim Baker, Secretary of State, said to Edward Shepard. What interests are behind the buildup? Why do we want more countries in NATO? Because then Lockheed Martin and Raytheon and Boeing and others can sell to them. Mm -hmm. Then the Soviets, now the Russians, won't be selling to them. Why do we want Ukraine? Don't we have enough? I mean... Empire never has enough. That's the nature of imperial power. It never has enough. Have you ever watched Battlestar Galactica or, <laughs> or, or Star Wars, you know, or Game of Thrones? <laughs> Empire never has enough power. It never has enough wealth. It never has a, a more stable status quo. It has an increasingly instable status quo, and so its efforts are ever more frenetic to protect that status quo, its power and its wealth, and to even expand them. That's the nature of empire, and that's what we are now. That's what we are. Everyone's protestations to the contrary, that's what we are. Mm -hmm. Depending on whose report you read, about a third, 20%, I'll say, to 30% of Russia's heavy armaments industry is in Ukraine. What do they do for tanks? What do they do for their heavy armaments in their military if Ukraine goes? The idea that we could do something in Ukraine, covert or otherwise, and have Putin not respond is just laughable. You know, I feel like a lot of people, of course, feel helpless, especially those of us living within the empire. Uh, 